Ever wondered where the best lakes for largemouth bass fishing in Missouri are? Missouri, a Midwestern U.S. state, is a haven for anglers, especially those with a penchant for bass fishing. The sport is deeply ingrained in the state's culture, attracting locals and tourists alike with its promise of adventure and a good catch. Missouri boasts numerous lakes, each with its own charm and unique fishing opportunities. In this video, we'll be exploring some of the top contenders for bass fishing. These include the expansive Lake of the Ozarks, the picturesque Table Rock, the rich Truman Reservoir, the diverse Bull Shoals, the serene Mark Twain Lake, the abundant Stockton Lake, the tranquil Tanicomo Lake, and the under-the-radar gem, Palm de Terre Lake. Each of these lakes offers a unique bass fishing experience with varying sizes of fish and distinct features that make them stand out. So grab your fishing gear and join us on this exciting journey. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into each lake's unique features. First up, we have the Lake of the Ozarks. This sprawling body of water stretches for over 93 miles, its serpentine shape hugging the surrounding hills and valleys. It's a veritable paradise for bass anglers, boasting a healthy population of impressive, largemouth bass. The average size of the bass you'll encounter, well it's hard to say as the lake is so rich with life but you can expect to find fish in the 2-4 to four pound range quite frequently. Some anglers have even reported catches upwards of 5 pounds. A testament to the lake's fertile waters. What sets the Lake of the Ozarks apart from other fishing spots? It's got to be its unique shoreline. With over 1,000 miles of irregular cove-studded shoreline, there are more than enough secluded spots for the base to thrive and for you to cast your line. Lake of the Ozarks is a must-visit for any avid bass angler. Next on our list is Table Rock. Nestled in the heart of the Ozark Mountains, this expansive lake stretches over 52,000 acres offering ample room for both novice and experienced anglers. Here, anglers can anticipate a thrilling encounter with largemouth bass, which typically measure in at an impressive average of 18 inches. But that's not all. Table Rock is also renowned for its unique underwater landscape. With its complex network of submerged rock formations and old river channels, it serves as a perfect habitat for these bass, making fishing here an experience akin to a treasure hunt. And if you're lucky, you might just stumble upon a smallmouth bass or a spotted bass, adding an extra layer of surprise to your fishing adventure. With so much to offer, Table Rock promises an exciting fishing experience. Moving on, we come to Truman Reservoir and Bull Shoals. Truman Reservoir, also known as Truman Lake, is the largest man-made lake in Missouri, covering an impressive 55,000 acres. It's not just its size that makes this place remarkable, it's also home to some of the finest largemouth bass. Anglers here often reel in bass that are in the 5 to 6 pound range, a testament to the thriving ecosystem of the lake. Truman Reservoir isn't just about fishing, it's a haven for outdoor enthusiasts with its numerous state parks and recreation areas. The lake is surrounded by lush forests and rolling hills, making it a picturesque location for camping and hiking. Now let's shift our focus to Bull Shoals. Smaller than Truman Reservoir but no less impressive, Bull Shoals sprawls over 45,000 acres. This lake is known for its clear, deep waters which are a favorite among divers and anglers alike. The average size of largemouth bass in Bull Shoals is about 4 pounds, but don't let that number fool you. This lake has been known to yield bass that weigh in at over 10 pounds. Bull Shoals with its rugged shoreline and scattered islands is a sight to behold. The lake's unique topography makes it a hotspot for various water sports and recreation activities. If you're into bass fishing and you haven't been to Bull Shoals, you're missing out. Both Truman Reservoir and Bull Shoals have their unique charm and appeal. They offer anglers a chance to not just catch some impressive bass, but also to enjoy the great outdoors. Each lake has its own set of challenges, promising an exciting and rewarding experience every time you cast your line. These lakes offer a great fishing adventure with their unique attributes. The beauty of these lakes coupled with the thrill of bass fishing makes Truman Reservoir and Bull Shoals must-visit destinations for every fishing enthusiast. Scene Script Next in line are Mark Twain Lake and Stockton Lake. Nestled in the heart of northeastern Missouri, Mark Twain Lake sprawls across a massive 48,000 acres. This impressive body of water, named after the famous author who once called Missouri home, provides a pristine habitat for a variety of fish species. However, it's the largemouth bass that truly reigns supreme here. Anglers regularly report catches averaging around 3 to 4 pounds, although legends of monstrous 8-pounders persist. 
Mark Twain Lake's unique features make it a prime spot for bass fishing. It boasts a diverse landscape with a variety of underwater structures including submerged timber, rocky outcrops, and deep channels. These conditions create an ideal environment for bass, offering plenty of spots for them to hide and hunt. Moving southwest from Mark Twain Lake we find Stockton Lake, a smaller but equally impressive body of water. Covering a respectable 24,800 acres, Stockton Lake is known for its clear deep waters. The average largemouth base here weighs in at about 2 to 3 pounds, but don't be surprised if you reel in a 5-pounder on a good day. What sets Stockton Lake apart is its reputation as a multi-species lake. While bass fishing is certainly a major draw, anglers also flock here for the chance to catch walleye, crappie, and catfish. The lake's numerous coves and inlets coupled with its deep, clear waters provide excellent habitats for these fish species. Both Mark Twain Lake and Stockton Lake offer an abundance of campgrounds and recreational areas, making them perfect for weekend fishing trips or extended stays. Whether you're a seasoned angler or just getting your feet wet, these lakes offer a diverse and rewarding fishing experience. Mark Twain Lake and Stockton Lake are a haven for bass anglers. Scene script. Finally, we have Tanicomo Lake and Palme de Terre Lake. Let's start with Tanicomo Lake. Nestled in the heart of the Ozark Mountains, this lake stretches over an impressive 2,000 acres. It's a unique body of water, combining characteristics of both a river and a lake. And when it comes to the average size of fish, well, let's just say it won't disappoint. The average, largemouth bass here weighs in at a hefty 5 pounds, making it a prime spot for those big catch moments. Now what makes Tanicomo Lake really stand out is its cold water. This isn't your typical bass lake. The water is chilled by the Table Rock Dam, creating an environment that's more like a trout stream. So while you're casting for bass, don't be surprised if you hook into a rainbow or brown trout as well. Moving on to Pome de Terre Lake. This gem spans over 7,800 acres and is a favorite among Missouri's bass anglers. It's known for its clear water and scenic landscapes, but the main attraction is undoubtedly the fishing. The average largemouth bass in Palme de Terre Lake tips the scale at around 4 pounds, but don't let that fool you. This lake has a reputation for producing trophy-sized bass as well. A unique feature of Palme de Terre Lake is its musky program. It's one of the few lakes in Missouri where you can catch this elusive predator. So, while you're out there reeling in, base, keep an eye out for the infamous fish of 10,000 casts. Tanicomo Lake and Palme de Terre Lake round off our list of top bass fishing lakes in Missouri. With their unique features and fantastic base fishing opportunities, they offer an experience that's hard to match. Whether you're a seasoned angler or just getting started, these lakes promise an adventure that will keep you coming back for more. So, there you have it, we've journeyed through the top lakes for largemouth bass fishing in Missouri, from the vast expanse of Lake of the Ozarks to the crystal clear waters of Table Rock. We've explored the depths of Truman Reservoir and the rugged beauty of Bull Shoals, We've basked in the tranquility of Mark Twain Lake and the serenity of Stockton Lake. And who can forget the unique allure of Tanicomo Lake and the hidden gem that is Palme de Terre Lake. Each of these lakes offers a unique fishing experience with its own set of challenges and rewards. But remember, while we're out there in search of the perfect catch, let's not forget to respect the environment. Keep the lakes clean and respect the wildlife. After all, it's their home. Remember the joy of fishing isn't just about the catch, it's about the experience. Happy fishing! Thanks for watching, please leave a comment, we would love to hear from you.